I had just settled into my work, the soft hum of the computer filling the room, when a sudden commotion shattered the quietude. Shouts echoed, and before I could comprehend, a throng of people encircled me. Startled, I looked around, trying to make sense of the sudden chaos that enveloped me. It was amidst this tumultuous backdrop that my life took an unexpected turn, leading me down a path I never imagined. My journey began with a union, a marriage to my second wife, Emily. Together, we embarked on a new chapter of our lives, finding solace in the serenity of Northern California, nestled in the embrace of nature. Our abode, a grand house ensconced in verdant landscapes just beyond a sleepy town, offered respite from the clamor of city life. Yet, neighboring our tranquil abode stood another house, strikingly similar in structure but inhabited by a starkly different persona, Emily's sister, Jane. Jane, a commanding figure with an aura of authority, exuded an air of control that extended to every aspect of her life, including her relationship with Emily. In contrast, Emily possessed a gentle demeanor, her petite frame belying a heart of gold. Though she often lamented about her weight and professed modesty and in intellect, her warmth and kindness endeared her to all who knew her. However, beneath the facade of familial harmony lay a simmering discord, fueled by Jane's domineering nature. Emily, ever the dutiful sister, found herself ensnared in Jane's web of influence, her desires overshadowed by the dictates of her elder sibling. As days turned into weeks, a sense of unease settled upon her household. Emily's absence, though ostensibly attributed to a sojourn in San Francisco, cast a shadow of doubt over our tranquil existence. And in her absence, Jane's watchful gaze fell upon me, scrutinizing my every move with an intensity that bordered on suspicion. It was amidst this atmosphere of uncertainty that a series of peculiar incidents unfolded, each more baffling than the last. A mysterious phone call purportedly from Emily, sent shivers down my spine, its timing and content veiled in ambiguity. And then, there were sightings, a peculiar woman, glimpsed fleetingly in the town square, her presence an enigma that refused to be ignored. As the days wore on, tension mounted, reaching a crescendo on a fateful night that would alter the course of our lives forever. In the pallid glow of the moon, I found myself drawn to the garden, an inexplicable compulsion driving me to unearth secrets buried deep within the earth. With a spade in hand, I began to dig, each shovel full of earth unearthing buried fears and unanswered questions. Yet, before I could delve deeper into the mysteries that lay concealed beneath the soil, I was interrupted. Jane, accompanied by a cadre of strangers, her accusatory gaze piercing through the darkness. Accusations flew, each word laden with suspicion and mistrust. Yet, amidst the chaos, a semblance of clarity emerged. Jane's machinations laid bare, her web of deceit unraveling before my eyes. And as the truth emerged from the depths of deception, I found myself at a crossroads, torn between loyalty and self-preservation. In the aftermath of the revelation, Emily's return brought a semblance of normalcy to our fractured existence. Yet. 
beneath the veneer of reconciliation lay a web of lies and half-truths, each strand woven with care to preserve the fragile harmony of our lives. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the echoes of that tumultuous night lingered, a constant reminder of the fragility of trust and the depths to which one would go to protect their secrets. And amidst the tranquil landscapes of Northern California, the shadows of the past loomed large, casting a pall over our fragile existence. But amidst the darkness, there remained a glimmer of hope, a flickering flame of resilience that refused to be extinguished. For in the crucible of adversity, we found strength, strength to confront our demons, to unravel the mysteries that bound us, and to emerge, battered yet unbroken, into the light of a new day. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting its golden rays upon the verdant landscapes of Northern California, we stood together, bound by love, tested by adversity, and ready to face whatever the future may hold. For in the end, it was not the darkness that defined us, but the light that we carried within, a beacon of hope in a world fraught with shadows.